So just a basic introduction to complex numbers on adding and subtracting and um, multiplication division. Division is definitely the tougher one where you have to use a technique called complex conjugate. Um, and I guess it's a little bit longer, but you, you need to be well versed in these first. So let's just have a look at some basic stuff first here. So a leaving cert question could be set out like this. Here's some number, complex number Z1 here, and here's some complex number Z2. And maybe you can find another complex number Z3 if you add the two of these things together. So how would that look there? So Z1 is 3 plus 4i and plus z2 which is 2 minus 6i and it literally is just grouping like terms together keeping the real stuff here together as 3 and 2 have nothing imaginary attached so that's 3 plus 2 is 5 and 4i minus 6i is minus 2i so here's your new complex number uh, 5 minus 2i and um, what about subtraction no real different but i have seen mistakes made um so there's one thing that will help you is using brackets to replace the variable so what i mean is this so z1 again now is 3 plus 4i so minus z2 but brackets here 2 minus 6i and when we, when we tidy this thing up we're going to see that we have 3 plus 4i um, minus 2 but a minus by a minus 6 gives a plus 6i and of course when you bring these like terms together now you have 3 minus 2 which is 1 and you have 4i plus 6i, which is 10i. So yeah, in general, it's a good tip to replace variables when you know the values to go in for it. Use brackets all the time. It will save you some common mistakes that are made with the wrong sign. And probably the most common mistake across all questions is getting a, putting a minus in, in, the, in the wrong place. Now let's look at multiplication. So multiplication is important because we have to look out for this i squared is equal to minus one. So this is a super important uh, thing to note here. So in general, in my notes for complex numbers in school, I would always say, look, take this down, that when you see an i squared, you change it to minus one. We're always looking out for that. Remember, of course, i is equal to the square root of minus one. So when you square both sides, you get i squared is equal to minus one. It's kind of like you're getting rid of the i's there. Um, so let's look at uh, how that would work in practice. So we have z1 multiplied by z2 now. So that gives us 3 plus 4i multiplied by 2 minus 6i. Okay, so yeah, it's just like multiplying normal brackets to 3 by the 2 and that stuff there, and then this by this and this by this. So let's do that out. So 3 by 2 is 6. 3 by minus 6i is minus 18i. Now we have 4i by 2, that's a plus 8i. And we have 4i by a minus 6i, that's minus 24i squared. So there we go. Something we have to be on the watch for is this this guy here changing to minus one. So I like to rewrite it again. So six minus eighteen plus eight is minus ten i, and then minus twenty four by a minus one. So that's changed to that. So essentially we have six plus twenty four because minus twenty four minus one is plus twenty four is thirty, and we have our imaginary part which is minus ten i. So yeah, let's look out for this, and you'll see it in the same in the next part. We're essentially doing division by doing two multiplications, um, but yeah, always watch out for the i squared and change them to minus one. So uh, for division we're going to use a technique called the complex conjugate. Now, the complex conjugate just means that if z is some complex number a plus bi, then z conjugate will be a minus bi. We change the sign with the imaginary part. So it's important to remember that, that it's only with the imaginary part. While it seems like uh, complex numbers are always written with the real part first and the imaginary part second, they could change that around. There's no convention to say you have to do it that way. So just be careful there that you're only changing the sign with the imaginary part. Now the technique for this one is the con multiply by the conjugate of the bottom part only. So that's going to be 2, change in sign of the imaginary part, which is going to be plus 6i over itself. Okay? So you're multiplying by the conjugate of the bottom part over itself. And then it just becomes a multiplication problem on the top and bottom. So multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom, like any two fractions. So 3 by 2 is going to be 6. Oh, I'll change the black here. Uh, 3 by plus 6i is going to be 18i. And then 4i by 2 is going to be 8i. And 4i by 6i is going to be 24, but of course an i squared. And underneath, what do we have? 2 by 2, which is 4. 2 by 6i, which is 12i. Minus 6 by 2, which is minus 12i. 
and minus 6 by plus 6i so it's plus by a minus it's going to be a minus and it's going to be 36 but of course it's going to be i squared okay so let's tidy that stuff up a bit now if you've done this correctly and the denominator your two i's in the middle should cancel okay so if that doesn't happen something's wrong and you've just made a simple multiplication error or sign error so let's have a look at the top so 6 he can say there on his own plus 18i plus 8i that's a plus 26i now we have a plus 24 and a minus 1 in brackets if you want to go ahead and just change that to minus 24 straight away you can do that but I'm just doing it this way um, just for your first time seeing it so you understand what's happening so I like call it like the baby step version but you can of course do it a lot quicker and you will need to do it probably quicker in the exam because we're always stuck for time and we have minus 36 here then with a minus 1 okay so let's finish that up so that gives us a 6 and a minus 24 that's minus 18 and a plus 26i on the top and on the bottom we have 4 but now a plus 36 so that's 40 now we normally have to look at it like this a plus bi and yeah it doesn't really look like that yet so what we're going to actually have to do is what we call distribute the denominator here it might sound technical but it's really easy we're just literally going to split this up go minus 18 over 40 plus 26i over 40 all right and tie it up a little bit so simplify those fractions and um, oh look i have it down there down below um we have a minus 9 over 20 and a plus 13 over 20i and that's actually our answer so in the leaving cert they might say give your answer in the form a plus bi or they might just say this is a number find a and find b and when you do your division you figure out that a is minus 9 over 20 and your b is 13 over 20. So hopefully that makes sense and you'll have no you'll have no problem in finding loads of examples in your maths book and hopefully you should be able to do them all there now.